morning, Alain. Very nice to have you here in the Motor Modern, the facility of AVL in France. It was a pleasure. Alain, what is the reason why you came here with the engine made uh, for the duster? Okay, the engine is, is made for the duster for the Andros Trophy. We have a new engine, it's a, it's a Nissan Bez. But last year we had many, many problems with uh, especially drivability, progressivity, and we had a, a specific problem. On the standard dyno, you're working obviously uh, on the, the curve and the, the torque and the power and the asking for maximum power. So you know that uh, the, the kind of bears, but as soon as you are on the track, very often you have a different characteristic. On the ice, it's a very, very special uh, way of driving. Uh, you, depending on how you put the car sideways or not, you, what you want to have is a uh, repetitivity on the on the throttle. When you ask uh, 20 percent, 30 percent, or if it's 100 percent, you you need to know where where you are. And typically, we had this big hole, and we could not understand. We work a lot on the on on the pedal itself. Uh, we work on the engine side mechanically for the for the for the cable for the pedal, but we did not find a way on a normal dyno. Okay. So we wanted to go on the dynamic dyno to see if we can reproduce the, the problem at, at least for everybody there to understand uh, exactly what was the problem. We took one lap I've done in Val Thorens yes. during the winter where we had twice the problem in a, a very tight airpin and we can reproduce this problem, we can reproduce this lap here on this dyno but we cannot do it on another type of dyno. And that is really a big advantage. The most important is to, to get the progressivity, to use the, uh, also for the car, also for the tires, it's very important. Then uh, in Formula One, they all use this type of uh, dyno, but normally in a lower discipline, uh, they, they don't use it, which is, in my opinion, a big mistake. So we have this kind of uh, uh, tool now with this d uh, dynamic dyno, which is normally the best for motor racing. So Alain, would you recommend the AVL solution for a dynamic test bed for racing for the moment compared to the steady state dyno that everybody has? I'm convinced that uh, for every kind of race, especially in 24 hours when you're driving uh, uh, day or night and difference of temperatures and when you have the pit stop, the whole temperature of the whole uh, engine, gearbox and everything is uh, going, going up. I think it's very important to, to do this kind of simulation. Then you can simulate things that uh, nobody can do it on a normal, uh, normal dyno. I think it would be a big advantage. There's not a lot of driver, drivers, in my opinion, that they can explain or they can reproduce the, the problems or what they feel uh, in the car, talking about the chassis or tires. Or, and, and engine is maybe one of the most important. If you have this kind of tool, and you can reproduce exactly what is happening, then, then the, the problem that we, we can see today is that uh, you don't need to talk too much. You know, you just look and simulate what the problems you had and everybody understands. And then you can obviously talk and make, make a progress, then you have a, you have a base. Stop what, is, what happened before, and then, then you can think about the future, and then you, you will make a progression inevitably. For me, it's a tool which is unbelievable in terms of uh, making progress and getting time. And getting time in motor racing is also getting money. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to, to be able to fix it because, because of that. It's going to be a big help. We must not forget what all the work has been done in, in, uh, in front, you know, but it's going to be a, an extra tool, extra uh, possibility for us, which was, considering our problem, uh, something that we we had to do it, you know. Without that, I don't think we could have fixed the problem at 100%. Alain, do you think that uh, this kind of test on dynamic dyno will allow you to regain the title? Uh, I think yes, yeah. Okay. If we fix the, which I'm convinced that we're going to do, if we fix the problem with the, with the engine, we know that we are working on the chassis side, we had a weak points also. Uh, I'm aiming for getting the title again this year. Yeah. I hope we will be part of your success by doing this little part of job on the dyno. You, you will be, that I'm, I'm convinced about that. Yeah. Thank you, Alain. Okay, thank you.